Okay, here we are on a magnificent spring day previewing our Cinco de Mayo sale. And while I'm at that, I wish everyone a happy Cinco de Mayo coming up. Anyway, here we have these two wonderful, I'd call them brutalist bronze horses, came from a Wilton, Connecticut estate. They are by an artist called Siri Hollander. Really great, I believe they're estimated four to 6,000, but check them out. Now. Below here, we have a little foal looking at a turtle. This is by a woman called Deborah Copenhagen, Copenhaver Fellows. Over here, we have more, one other bronze in the sale by this artist. There's a little foal here, signed down here, it's by Pat Mathieson. Okay, so there you go, a nice spring collection of horses there, probably take them out to the bar later. Over here, we have a nice collection of Richard Schultz. Four sh or five chaises, we're, we're putting them in a set of three and a set of two, but they're a wonderful collection. Wonderful condition, I mean, they go up and they go down. So we also have a set of three tables and a set of two tables. Here we have a lead uh, fountain. This comes together with another small chair, so it's two and one lot. Okay, into the main office. This is a wonderful sale, I have to say so myself, as always. This is a pair of Papa Bear chairs. These are by Modernica, Los Angeles. Pretty nice condition, one of the cushions has a small little tear. In the mid-century vein, we have a pair of these. Uh, they could, they actually go together with a coffee table. A little bit wear and fade, but good for our uh, generic homes. This is a very nice, uh, probably 19th century, 1920th century uh, French cabinet. Nice marble top, really wonderful bronze columns, bronze work on it. A top here, we've had this artist before. It's a very large bust by an artist called Joseph Mosier. You can get an idea of the size also of these magnificent sort of nearly Baccarat quality gilt bronze mounted urns. Just nice that they're such a large size. I'm gonna swing over here past, we have a Louis Vuitton trunk. I'm sure Whitney will deal with that. Let me get around my boat. Dernick is there. This is a wonderful marble bust by Cesar Lapini. Good large size, you can see once again, a little bit of staining, but that could be all cleaned. Below here, I call it an Irish style table, nice with the heavy claw, claw feet sitting on the ball. Nicely carved. No way I'm talking, I'm carving, carving. Nice thick marble, sort of serrated down there. Over here, one of my favorite things to sale, we have this, let's see if it works. Uh, Wurlitzer jukebox. We, oh, I think it's beginning to move there. There we go. Comes with a lot of this, a lot of extras with it. Check it on ClarkNY.com. You're also welcome to come in and preview it. I believe it just plays one record at the moment. Someone said it just needs a bit of oiling and stuff. Okay, over here we have this really nice, good large size, we'd call it a Baltic style chandelier. Nice size, people, it's very desirable. I really love this one with the light blue and the polished nickel and the nickel steel mid-century chandelier. Okay, here we are into the main room, like a super duper load all waiting to be purchased and taken away. Okay, here we have a lot of nice lighting in the cell. Nice pair of three, sort of vintage. Italiano sconces, we have Lalique. We have this pair of uh, Hurricane, probably 18th, 19th century English silver plate. I really love these, it's nice to have a set of six with the gold flecking in the glass. All ready to go. We have Limoges porcelain. We have Lennox porcelain. Lots of stemware on the sale. Right here, we these are a nice pair of Murano glass, good size, nice and strong, with the gold flecking Murano candelabra mid-century. Here we have, these three are by Ogetti or Ogetti. And as usual, we have a head in the cell. Believe it or not, we have a shrunken head in the next cell. But anyway, we have this one here. Little grouping of kinetic sculptures there. It's a nice lot. Art glass, a large grouping of it. Below there, that large glass uh, sculpture there, vase, is by a guy called Chris Hawthorne. To the right of it, this is quite rare. We've had it before, but it's Gouda. And I believe it's by van der Eng. To the right of that, another Arte sculpture. Lots of nice porcelains in this cell. Look at these two. People that love these just because of a cat and a dog. Looks like a pug and a cat. We got more pugs to sell. This is quite a rare piece. I'll have to look at a Rosenthal porcelain. We have a grouping of mice in here. This gilt trim stemware is by St. Louis. Really beautiful. Large mice and grouping here. Rene Lalique vase here. This centerpiece is really beautiful. Sort of back rack quality well. Good size. Over here, these amber bowls are by R. Lalique, Rene Lalique pair of them. Nice Murano glassware there below here. This is Royal Worcester. Interesting for the old Paddy and me because it has Blarney Castle on it, but look at the size of that. 
So there you are, all my Irish viewers. You can bring up that back. We have this wonderful three-tier Taz. It's really nice. We've had these before. This, these, these are pretty rare. These are Brooklyn Fiance. We have two of them. We're selling them individually. We've had some before. Also on the rarer vein, this pair of Tazes are by Meisen. They're really nice three-tier with the figural top. More Meisen on top here. We got Bacchus, we've got groupings, we have this lamp base. We have this clock here, it's back in the sale, I don't know why, but it is. Uh, this is by a Brazilian artist, I believe it's a guy called maybe Jose Lopez. Below here, more kinetic sculpture, mid-century lot. This is by Keys Van Dungen. Never had a bronze by him before, but nice original patina, more clocks. Below here, more bronzes and mid-century lighting. So C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y to check out the names. Okay, we're into the furniture, etc. We have this. This is a mid-century bedroom set. It comes with a high chest, end tables, and a long chest. Up top that four. These are very nice quality sconces. Three, three arm, all there. Probably 19th century with the brass hardware. This table and four chairs. Nice for the mid-century pad leather seats on them. Table has the chrome base, Murano lamps. I quite like this. This is a uh, little tea cart, but it's nice. It has the little pull out there. Or if it's not a tea cart, a bar cart. We have a set of four of these. Hans Hoffman. Nice demi lune, nicely ebonized. More sconces up here. You can get an idea of the size of them here. These are stick sconces. Moving along. This sofa, leather and chrome, I believe is B and A, B and G Italia. I really like these two. Look at these pair of rock crystal lamps. Nicely ready to go and say this desk, I believe, is by Florence Null. Don't quote me on it if I'm wrong. You can ring me up and abuse me. This is very heavy. I like this too. Look at this. We call it after John Vesey. Chrome heavy, but great looker for the house. Great conversational piece. More mid-century furniture. Bertoia chairs. There's a nice bow front in the mahogany vein, the brown wood as we call it. Nice two over two uh, bow front dresser. This sculpture, I believe, was we were told it came from Lincoln Center. It's a big size and it's all, all brass and enameled. So it's very nice. I'm going to swing it around there so you can get a proper view of there. See that? Good size. Now this table below here, I call it a stirrup table. I'm sure someone's going to put a name on that. Marble base, 18th century sofa there. This is a George Nelson Herman Miller. Nice with the marble top on it here. More 19th century mahogany. This is very finely carved French console or mirror. Wonderful with the swag and carving there. Nice shaped marble here. American Sheraton style card table, English knife box. And we have a lot of stickly audio in the cell. So there's a sideboard. We have a table and chairs after Harvey Ellis here. This I really like, came from Larchman. There's a great patina on it, as you like it. Look at the grain, nice with the glass here, all period. Came from a local house on the water, look. Ready to go, not in vogue, but if you're looking for one, this is a great one to buy. Lots of Chesterfield in the sofa, white though. White, we have a settee and a sofa goes this here. These came out of Doyle a long time ago, I believe. They still have the Doyle sticker on them. Uh, they're plaster, but really well executed, nicely painted. Here we have an 18th century serpentine front uh, commode. Good age on it, it's nice with the inlay on it. Here, a beautiful 19th century mirror, really finely carved, solid wood. Nice with the ribbon and swag on top, nice pair of sconces with the sort of bow on the mirror. And before we leave here, we got this pair of Parsinger style. Look at the size of them, big. Okay, we're going to swing down here. We have leather Chesterfield sofas. We have Victorian inlaid furniture. We have contemporary chaises leather. And look at that for that Panther coffee table right in the middle there, ready to pounce. This is a nice chrome leather flip top table. This chair, I believe, is together with another piece. Look at these pugs. They are initialed on the bottom. Look at the size of them. I should bring them home. I just got a Bouvier for myself, so I should uh, bring them home to play. We have two of these. These are restoration hardware. They're called the aeroplane chair. We have a Mies van der Rohe Barcelona. This uh, tea caddy is wonderful. Carved all over. I didn't carve that better unless you were doing time in prison or something. Look at that, the original, beautiful, big, large size. 
guys. I haven't seen one as nice as this ever. As my, in fact, it's something written here, but clarkny.com, you can see it. Mid-century Murano lighting. This is a great, great set here for the kids' room or the hallway. Nice marble top mid-century, we're going to roll around here. This is by Pat Matheson, you know we had the horse out the front. We have this after uh, Maison Bag style coffee table. A pair of demi loon settees. Murano egg lamps. Nice original pair of hands wagoner chairs. This drop leaf table I believe is by Matheson. Opens out and folds on, goes out a long way. This is really nice, a weather vane, it's a bull. Nice patina on it from out grazing. This fellow here, someone must have given him a book and taken his violin, I'm afraid. This shows you right. he's missing his violin, but at least he has the dollar now. He's, what's he got here? Oh, look at that. Anyway, he's very well executed, sitting on a stool. Here we have a pair of Artemidi. I think my staff thought they were from a vacuum in the estate at first. Nearly threw them out. Sitting atop a beautiful bentwood coffee table. And here we have a nice large Picasso Madura. Bullfighter. Once again, C L A R K E N Y to get the estimates, etc. Nice bronze standing lamp. Moving along. Here is a super duper loft for a kids' room for anywhere for the office. We have the personality indicator, and it works. This here is Marty's diner. It lights up, and it, both were in the same estate, so I put them together. I just, I mean, just look at the size. This sounds good. Heavy weight aluminium, as we'd say. More stickly Audi carved trunk, stickly Audi settee. These two lamps are by, there's a lot of interest in these, Spitzmiller. Came from Greenwich. More Ames, this Ames chair. It's in, the back is off it, but it's, it, it is repairable. It's not actually broken, so the back has come off it, but it's a nice original Ames chair. Look at this, this is by Paul Achille. Nice and large, look it moves. It's, it's really wonderful. Big, large rosewood conference table. Set of these Herman Miller chairs, more stickly Audi, more stickly Audi here, more Herman Miller chairs. Right here, don't want to forget this, we have this Tiffany lily pad lamp, wonderful patina on this. You can see it lit up or turned off with the shades on it, clarkny.com. Here we have a nice uh, leather Chesterfield sofa. Over here you can see we got mirrors, more sconces. Nice inlaid furniture with full griffins on the bottom of it. French Art Nouveau. Wonderful uh, mahogany sideboard here. It came from the same estate in Larchmont as that nice secretary bookcase. We're going to swing down below under all those rugs. There's a big L shaped rosewood desk. We've this nice after Paul Frankel. Ralph Lauren chair here. Little settee, white Chesterfield. We have this clock. I'm going to get to my photographer here. He's going to go bananas. This is Hershidi Nine Tube, the name of the maker on it also. Really like this. Just wonderful condition, ready to go into the house. Fireplace carved, looks like it's Victorian, looks figural with the different burl and inlay on it. More stickly Audi bedroom here. Great if people are looking for usable bedroom furniture. Nice mid century coffee table. Sitting atop another pair of Panthers, a nice Panther acrylic table below it. And if you're in the 70s mode, look at these, it doesn't come any more 70s than these nice thick lucite. We have the Sarin and Tulip table. We have a pair of these, these came from Larchmont. After uh, Arnie Jacobson egg chairs. This Barcelona chair here, I should get to this, Anatom is actually a real one. So it's nice to have. We have Antler chandeliers, we have arts and craft iron chandeliers. We have this nice little Italian dinette set, chairs and the table. Moving right along here. Oh, I'm going to show you these pair of Barroso Murano lamps here before I bid you adieu. I'm going to hopefully see you all in Cinco de Mayo and uh, you can preview four days prior or any time. We're ready to rock now so you can come in and view it if you like. Thank you. See you then.